My name is Cassandra Hatch and I'm a juvenile detention officer. Cassandra has been a detention officer at the Judicial Branch of Arizona for the last 13 years. All my life I've wanted to work with troubled youth and I found the right place to go. SB number 10. I work 6 to 2. And we have three shifts. We have 6 to 2, 2 to 10, or 10 to 6. I come in at 6, clock in, get my keys, look to see what unit I'll be working for the day. During her time here, she's been able to interact with kids that come from very different backgrounds. There's so much that you see here that you don't even realize is out there. Like when I started this job, I never expected some of the stories I heard. It does sometimes feel like you were raising like your own set of kids. Um, you get to get a chance to see them for who they are. And sometimes you'll get to discover a side of them that they didn't know they had. And while some juveniles may be in detention for just a few days or a few weeks, communication is key among all juvenile detention officers. There may be a lot that has taken place to shift before or all, or there may be um, different types of issues that kids have had with different ones that may come in. Before their first day on the job, juvenile detention officers go through an academy that usually lasts two to three weeks, followed by on-the-job training. And then you just learn the way the units run, the way school runs, the way the clinic runs, just so you know their everyday routine. They're set on a schedule, so all these kids know exactly what is laid out for them on a daily basis, even weekends. Brenton hopes he's making an impact by sharing his past experience. I used to play football for ASU, so sometimes they want to know what is it like to be a collegiate athlete, and I can give them that perspective. And some of these kids, they don't believe in themselves. But then if you let them know, you've got this. They do succeed, and we've had plenty of kids in here get GEDs and go on and become the kid, that, no, the young adult they're supposed to be. I just believe you have to truly care. If you don't care, you're not going to be good at this job. You have to care about these kids and believe in them that they can change.